Hello everyone, my name is Gene Roddenberry and today I have come back from the dead and traveled through the depths of space to tell you all about one particular movie that has always pissed me off beyond belief. I remember, after I divorced my first wife and remarried, my second wife, Majel Barrett, had me watch a dreadful movie with her every night before she let me put it in her pooper. This movie is regularly syndicated in television and has won many awards, as well as the hearts of humans around the earth, and is perhaps the oldest mainstream example of color in a motion picture, and has allegedly inspired audiences and filmmakers alike for nearly a century. I am talking of course about MGM's High Dutch set known as The Wizard of Oz, a movie based on a series of shitty books that make absolutely no sense. As you are most likely aware, I am not a film critic, I am only a genius, and the pioneer of space travel in mainstream media, so you'll just have to tolerate my haphazard review of the wizard of shit. So here we go. So the movie starts off with a huge red flag already. If I wanted to read, then I would read a goddamn book, and the stupid thing takes like a fucking hour to go away. So after all that bullshit, we are treated to the incessant whining on our unfortunate protagonist Dorothy. She's angry about something and no one cares. Just once or twice a week, and he can't catch her old cat anyway. And now she says she's gonna get the Dorothy, sheriff and... Dorothy, we're busy. We are also introduced to a myriad of several other nondescript characters that, believe it or not, have absolutely no bearing whatsoever on the rest of the plot. The writer simply couldn't think of a way to fill time. So we get about 20 minutes of this an exciting and important sepia bullshit, as it drags on and in and in in no particular direction. Then finally there's some sort of conflict. Apparently the bitch that governs the entire shit hole of a farm town comes over to Dorothy's house, while she's on her period, so she can have Dorothy's dog, Toto, killed by the veterinarian, or perhaps tie him down to some train tracks or something. Dorothy's parents put up a miserable fight, one that could never stack up to the engaging fight scenes of Star Trek, and the bitch takes Toto away but then he escapes, so problem solved. We've got to get away! We've got to run away! Apparently Dorothy wasn't satisfied with how her loving parents handled the situation, so she decides to run away. It's a twister! It's a twister! But since no one bothered to watch the weather channel that day, a big fucking tornado comes out of nowhere and Dorothy is abandoned by her horrible parents and they leave her to die. But she comes back and is immediately adopted by a hurricane. If you're even a fraction of the genius I am, you already know that not only is this scenario astronomically improbable, but that this movie is called The Wizard of Oz, and we're 20 minutes in and there hasn't been any wizards, or Ozzy Osbourne, or even anything that isn't a shade of shit brown. I can only withhold the patience of a human being, so I fast forwarded through a good large section of this literal crap fest, when finally the director stopped being cheap and lazy and decided to add beautiful red, green, and blue. But the asshole was so full of himself that he had little, if any dialogue, as he flaunts his colorful ego. Anyway, Dorothy lands in a city of dwarves, oh none of them are seen with hammers or alcohol, so they fucked up big time there. Dorothy is told that she killed the menace of this dwarf city in the most brutal way possible, but in the least spectacular display imaginable. There is no blood or guts or really anything to so much, as suggest that whoever was crunched by her house is indeed dead, unless you want to take the coroner's word for it. And she's not only merely dead, she's really most sincerely dead. So the next 80 or so hours are wasted with a song of record setting length that pounds and hammers the same point that was just made into your skull, until it is mercifully broken up by what I can only describe as some sort of anorexic she-hulk who wants her dead sister's shoes. 
Aren't you forgetting the ruby slippers? The slippers. Yes. As gross as that is, it's only worse that they somehow end up in Dorothy's feet. They're gone! The ruby slippers! What have you done with them? Give them back to me or I'll... It's too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. So the mayor of the Dwarven City basically tells Dorothy to do her grocery shopping, but without a car. The bitch just displayed her ability to fly in a fucking bubble, but no, Dorothy has to walk all the way across Middle Earth to go talk to some faggot that can supposedly send her home. Oh, if you ask me, the mayor seems to be perfectly able of this task. She's told to follow the yellow brick road only a trillion fucking times. Follow the yellow brick road. 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 Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Which is perhaps the lamest advice to give someone on this quest. Not only does the yellow brick road fork in several directions, there's a fucking witch that wants her ass dead, and all you can tell her is to follow the only road in the world. Now which way do we go? Jesus Christ. Give the poor woman a gun or a magic sword or anything to defend her sorry ass against all the forces of evil. This wouldn't be a problem if it was Captain Kirk. Oh, because he could and would wrestle with whatever heartless bastard or beast got in his way, proving once again that Kirk is the best. But since I didn't write this stupid movie no one in it is Kirk. Therefore no one in it is a bad ass. So the frail little girl has to team up with three other fuckers. A dumbass scarecrow. I can't make up my mind. I haven't got a brain. A heartless queer. Uh, the tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. Uh, and a pussy. Coward. You're right, I am a coward. I'm fairly certain that the only reason Dorothy was never taken advantage of by any of these characters was because of the homo in the group who was busy turning the rest of the party into faggots which has foot long tin penis. It was always around this point in the movie, where I either left the room and contemplated suicide, or just drowned myself in Quaker oatmeal for the next two hours hour of sheer stupidity and boredom. I was determined to reach the end however, and fast forwarded to the very end. Basically they make it to this giant green mall and get really really gay, especially the Tin Man and the Lion. That Satan air of several fair in the merry old land of Mars. After that, they do another errand for another lazy person and end up conquering the entire green bitch's kingdom. And the wizard gives all the assholes what they want and it turns out the whole thing was a dream. And therefore the third biggest fucking waste of time and life. Right behind Star Trek Deep Space Nine and Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. So, as you can see this movie is utter shit. Do not watch it. Instead, why not pick up a copy of Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, or perhaps Star Trek VII, Generations. Do anything at all with your time as long as it does not involve the Wizard of Onces. It is one of the worst movies ever made. Anyway I am Gene Roddenberry and this has been me attempting to explain dog shit to a second grader. Ta-ta. Oh.